Hi everyone, it's Stella, and I just got off the off the phone with a client who um, was doing so great and so excited about her plan and her direction for her career, and then she just had a really bad day at work, and suddenly she found herself just triggered and feeling anxious and doubting herself and doubting her confidence and doubting her whole plan. So you know how you get when you know, everything's all great and then suddenly something just trips you up and then it's like you want to just change course and, and everything you thought was going to work out, now you're not so sure. So when that happens, um, I have several tools for you to kind of keep balance and today I wanted to share a meditation or it's really more like a one minute break. And I literally, uh, a fellow coach just shared it with me this afternoon when he did it. And I thought it was so nice and lovely that I'd uh, share it with you, just like I shared it with my client, like a little bit ago. So um, when you find yourself feeling anxious and in a bad mood and just like really triggered and you need to find a way to shift that energy, um, try this. So this is actually um, was coming comes out of uh, um, an organization called HeartMath and it's called the quick coherence technique. The quick coherence technique. And it's, um, you know, when you don't have time to like sit on a meditation pillow for 20 minutes, this is a nice little thing you could do for one minute in your office, if you don't have privacy in your office, just go to the bathroom and go in a stall and, and practice this. So we're gonna do it together. So what I'd like you to do uh, is uh, close your eyes and put your hand on your chest. Find your heart, see if you can feel your heart beat. And just let your breath deepen and slow down just a little bit. We're going to do this for about 30 more seconds. If it's helpful, go ahead and count in for six and out for six or just let your breath deepen and slow down more than usual. And now I'd like you to just imagine in your mind's eye someone who you care for, someone who you appreciate. It could actually be a pet, family member, a friend, someone at work. It could even be an experience that you really appreciate or an achievement. I just want you to maintain that appreciation or care or love for whoever or whatever it is and just generate that emotion that positive emotion summon that emotion in you so that you're really kind of tapping into it as you imagine this person or pet or experience really get plugged into that appreciation, the love, the care. Continue to breathe.
Take one more deep breath. Exhale. Open your eyes. And that's it. And what I hope that you notice um, is that, you know, just notice how your body feels right now. Do you feel a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more even keeled? Um, the idea behind this work is that sometimes when we're anxious, our cardiovascular system is really erratic. And by just slowing down your breathing, focusing your attention on a positive emotion, especially on someone or something that you love very much or appreciate very much, it really creates more of an, of an even tone inside you. And just to end, uh, you know, Kung, this is an anecdote that I read in a book, but you know, the a Kung Fu master once said, you know, it's not that Kung Fu masters never fall off balance when you see them do all their amazing Kung Fu. It's just that they're so masterful at returning to center that you never even see them off balance. So we all get off balance, even the masters among us. It's just that those with more practice find a way to return to center much faster. So there will always be chaos. There will always be something that maybe ruffles our feathers. But the key is um, returning to center as, as quickly as possible. So I hope you enjoyed today's tool. There's plenty more where that came from, and I'll be sure to share them as they're you know, in another video. So uh, let me know how this one goes, and have a great day. Thanks.